Hey guys, I'm Alexandra. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk all things home decor. I do budget makeovers because I believe that you can have a beautiful, stylish, cozy space even if you rent without spending a ton of money. So today's video is really exciting. I am in Stacy's apartment in downtown Toronto. Stacy is a co-host of the Regular Girls podcast. It is an amazing podcast. She and Renee are hilarious. If you haven't listened to it, go check it out below. I kind of fangirled really hard when Stacy reached out to me and asked if I wanted to make over her apartment. So I'm actually making over her bedroom, her living room, and her kitchen in a little mini series on my channel. And today we're starting with her bedroom. So Stacy's got a budget of $500 and I am really gonna kind of change up her whole setup. When I walked into her apartment, first of all, I was struck by how incredibly cozy and cute it is, but I was also wondering why she had her living room in her bedroom. So she had her office tucked in a tiny corner right beside the kitchen and she had a chair in the corner. It looked really cute, really cozy, but I was like, when you have people over, do they actually go hang out in your bedroom? She was like, no, they hang out in the main area and there's usually not enough seating. So my plan is to flip this whole setup around, move her living room back into the main space and create a very stylish office for her to record her podcasts in her bedroom. First things first, I'm moving this couch out into the living room. I have to laugh because I literally did a home tour where I showed this Ikea light and I said, I'm not gonna use this in any other makeover because I've used it so many times. But guys, I showed up at Stacy's house and she actually had this light in a box. It was sitting in her room for ages and I was like, no, I can't use the light again. But I'm so happy I did because it looks so beautiful in her bedroom. Now, here's a hack. So if your electrical wiring isn't placed exactly where you want your pendant to hang down, just use a cup hook, they're like a dollar at the hardware store, twist it into where you want the pendant to hang, and then you just loop the cord around the hook, and there you go. Your pendant light is hanging exactly where you want it to be in the room. Stacy's got this great vintage dresser that I definitely want to keep in the bedroom, but I'm moving the TV back into the main space. It's going to work way better in the living room, especially now that the couch is here. I'm moving the mirror that's currently in her living room above the dresser to create more of a vanity vibe. Before I move the desk into this space, I'm changing up the rug. I'm replacing the rug with one that's a little bit bigger than the one she had. When you're buying a rug, always go bigger rather than smaller. If you have a small rug, it just kind of crowds the space and just does not look right. I actually thrifted this rug for $15, which is amazing. And I'm layering over a little bit more of a pricey one that's in a smaller size. This is a great tip if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a big rug. Just get a small one layered on top of an existing rug you have. It adds texture, it makes the space feel a lot more cozy. If you are gonna layer rugs, try a neutral rug on the bottom like this one, and then a more patterned one on top. Now it's time to place the desk. I'm putting it against this wall where the dresser used to be, so it's a little bit tucked away, it doesn't interfere with her bed space, and it still feels like a separate part of the bedroom. Above the desk, I'm installing this shelf, which I actually DIY'd, it's a total Ikea hack. Here's how you do it. All you need are two Ikea brackets and a piece of wood. I'm spray painting the brackets gold and staining the wood a dark chestnut color. Because these brackets are metal, make sure you use some sandpaper to scruff them up a little to make sure the spray paint holds better to the metal. I'm then staining my piece of wood and screwing the brackets into the wood with wood screws. This shelf literally cost $15 to make. It was super easy and it looks amazing on her wall. Stacy needed somewhere to keep her podcast microphones, so I'm putting them up on the shelf. They almost look like decor. And then I'm layering in other cute trinkets that she had in her living room. A shelf is a great thing to have above a desk, especially if you live in a small space without a lot of storage. You can use it to create a decorative focal point in your room. It looks beautiful on the wall, but it's also functional. So you can put your pencils up here, um, your, your pencils, yeah keep your pencils, because like everyone has pencils, right? And it also functions as storage. 
Now it's time to add some light. I'm using these amazing wall sconces right under the shelf so Stacy gets lots of light. Sconces are a great budget friendly option for light. They're functional, they look beautiful, and most of them plug in, which is great, so you don't have to hardwire anything to the wall. Now when you're hanging wall sconces, sometimes the cords can get twisted, and they don't look super neat. So I found these genius clips, they're linked below, and they hold your cords in place and keep them tight so they look way neater. You can also use this for an extension cord, just any cords you have around your house that need to look a little more neat use these clips. Along this wall, I wanted to add some art. Now, art is really important in any space. I've said that a million times, but it can get really pricey, especially if you wanna buy things framed. So what I love to do is actually buy printable art. I have a favorite store called The Printable Concept. They're linked down below. The owner does this amazing graphic art. She has photography, um, typography prints, illustrations, and they're seven dollars. So I picked two, that's fourteen dollars. You can get them printed at your drugstore for not a lot of money at all. To save on frames, I'm just using binder clips in this cool copper color. I'm hanging them with a couple nails in the wall and that's it. An instant photo wall for like fifteen dollars. Amazing. I wanted to bring a chair into this bedroom to create a kind of conversation area for when Stacy has guests on her podcast. Stacy had this awesome chair, but she thrifted it. It needs to be reupholstered. The fabric is just worn. So instead of reupholstering the whole chair, which is a little pricey, all I did was go out, buy a brand new throw blanket, toss it on the chair, and you never know it needs a makeover. It's like the simplest way to upgrade your furniture on a budget. This way you're gonna bring warmth and texture into the space and also hiding your unsightly chair. It's a win-win. For her desk, I found this amazing armchair that's going to double as a lounge chair for when she has guests on the pod. She can also bring this chair into the living room for extra seating when she has friends over. It's linked in the description box below if you guys wanna get one exactly like this. Stacy also had this amazing side table that was originally in her living room setup. It has a marble top and wood legs, so I'm just placing it right beside the desk to give her some more tabletop space because in an office, you can never have enough tabletop space. Am I right? As a finishing touch, I'm actually gonna change the bedspread, which might surprise some of you because this bedspread was perfect before. I thought so too, but Stacy really wanted a change. So I brought something in a little bit more neutral with some pom-poms around the edges. I actually have this duvet and I love it. It's actually from Amazon, which is kind of amazing. It's linked in the description box as well. So this side table was actually kind of forgotten in the corner beside her dresser. So I'm moving it beside her bed where it belongs and repurposing it as a nightstand for her to put all of her bedtime necessities on. And I'm hanging this beautiful diving print that she originally had behind me just above her bed to really complete that white wall. I also DIY'd this basket. I show you how on City Line this week. I'm gonna link that video somewhere so you can check out how I DIY'd this. And it's just a really great way for her to have some extra storage so she can put her cords in there, anything she wants. It's tucked away in this little corner in a cute basket. I also made the pom-pom pretty proud. So check out that video to see how it's really easy. Okay, this space is done and I'm so excited to bring Stacy in to reveal it. You ready? I'm like so excited. One. Okay. Two. <laughs> God, are you kidding me? Oh my God, this is unreal. I'm dying. Are you kidding me? This is like insane. I look like a like a rich woman. <laughs> I look, I look at the, light. the light's so pretty. It seems so bright in here. And bigger. Bigger, huger. A pom pom. That makes me emotional. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm dying. 
So my thought was, when you have guests on your pod, yes, you can move this chair around. Love. Place this table in the middle. Like it's like I look at Pinterest all the time, and now I'm like, oh, like I'm a part of it. Yes. <laughs> this is stunning. And you know what? I used like a lot of the stuff you already had, like that side table. I was like, why was it here? Oh my God. Right? I didn't even notice that. Now I have a light when I can sleep and I think there's ghosts. There go. <laughs> I I'm oh, and a plant. I'm gonna love you and take care of you. Oh my God, I'm gonna like actually have a heart attack. <laughs> I'm so sweating, I'm so happy. So oh my God, like I love it. it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more makeovers with Stacey. Like I mentioned, I'm actually redoing her kitchen and her living room. Make sure you take a listen to her podcast. I'm actually on her podcast today. The link's down below so you can hear us chat about all things decor. I've never been on a podcast before. It's kind of been on my bucket list and I'm really excited. So go take a listen and I will see you guys next Friday. See you next time.